there was an interview you did many years ago in Dulce magazine, and, and you, you, there was a quote in there that really hit me personally. It's a, I tell you, it's the, it's the best quote I've ever seen in my entire life because it put today in perspective for me when I was born. And he said that, you know, you're lucky to be born now. You're born in an era where you could own a pair of shoes. If you had been born 250 years ago, you would be owned. You would be a slave. And so there are, you know, things that, factors that have helped you become successful that had nothing to do with you. We are, we are lucky. We are fortunate. I am trying to tell young people that the ones in Jamaica know you are lucky to be born now with, with the internet and penetration of cell phones. And it would be irresponsible not to take advantage of those opportunities. How do you look at that? Or what would you tell them around that quote that you have? I would say well, we're fortunate. Uh, yes, that's true. But it's easy if you have not experienced growth, not to know what it looks like, not to know what it feels like, not to know what it smells like. And you don't trust that it's going to continue. So that's easy. Therefore, it's very, the natural default is to do nothing. Because you're going to say, but look at what has happened in the last 20 years, right? Right. And uh, so what can I expect in the next 20 years? Why should I expect differently? But we have had structural changes, right? right. I can remember back in 2013, uh, the then finance minister, uh, Minister Peter Phillips said, Mike, this is just before uh, we, we signed the IMF agreement. Mike, I will do anything to make sure we don't get back into this situation wow. because I had to literally figuratively crawl across the room on my belly to beg for help. I'll never put another generation of Jamaica through that. We're too blessed to be to have done that. Yeah. So we'll, I'll do anything to make sure we don't get back in that situation. 